This is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel here in Brooklyn, New York. And today I'm meeting up with Rania. She's going to give us a tour of her custom Ford Transit camper van. So join us. Hi, I'm Rania. This is my Ford Transit 250 high roof. This is my second van build. Uh, I was living on the road for about three years and um, I was in my first van for two of those years. Loved it. It was a medium roof, shorter wheelbase. There were a lot of things I wanted to do differently though, and this van is essentially the product of that. So the first thing that I did differently was I decided to do an awning. I have a Fiamma F4 5S, I think that says. Uh, so this is a manual awning that comes out and is adjustable. I really, really like having that. I can't believe I did two years without it, honestly. So come on in. So first thing you'll see, I have plenty of bench seating all around. Here's this and this. Um, something that is really important to me is storage. So I have little pockets of storage all throughout the van. This is my dog's little corner. Even little secret areas like this for her leash, things like that. Um, my Webasto heater vent is right here. And then at this bench seat, you can see I have a adjustable, removable swivel table. And then something really cool that I like about this build is I wanted to be able to have extended seating for like when I have friends over or just want to lounge because one of the things I found that I missed the most once I moved into the van was like couches. I just missed sprawling out on a couch. So watch me sprawl. So that's just stored up there, easy peasy. And then, yeah, this is just so comfortable to be able to just lounge out like this. Um, and it's, yeah, it's great for having people over. Another great thing about this seating situation is I have this table that comes out like this. So this is great for dishes, extra counter space, whatever, but I also will use it as a desk area. So I'll show you the partition wall that I have. My first van did not have this, but I decided I wanted to do it for the second build for safety purposes, for keeping heat and cold out. Um, and just for more privacy. And here is the best part of my van. This is my dog, Sequoia. She just turned 13 and she's perfect. So um, up here is a headliner shelf, tons of storage because this is a high roof van. Um, I keep the table for my swivel table up here. The other components, a little picnic blanket, other things, it can actually fit quite a bit. And then here is another part of the van that is pretty amazing, the ceiling. So my builder custom did the ceiling. He laser in etched um, all of these pieces of wood individually. You can see they run across all the way. And then there are different shapes that created this really cool pattern. Uh, tons of storage over here as well. So these cabinets are huge. They fit a ton. Over here is my gnome. And then underneath my gnome is my stove cooktop. It is runoff of propane. Um, it's really nice because there's a very easy propane on off system. I don't like driving when the propane system is on. So that is good for my anxiety. Below the propane switch is a USB 12 volt system. And then I have regular outlets here as well. Those are powered off of my 2000 watt inverter. My battery system is 200 amp hours of lithium. Um, I also have 400 watts of solar and my battery charges off the alternator. Over here, I have some finished wall. Um, it is insulated with Thinsulate, which is the same insulation I used in my first van because I really, really like it. And then I have this uh, blind situation really easily goes up and down. A friend installed it for me. He just bought this blind situation from Home Depot custom cut it. Um, and I really, really like it. The windows open part way and have a screen. Uh, another difference between this and my first van, my first van had only one tiny window and I really wanted to have a lot more like fresh, uh, air and light coming in over here. I have a max air fan. This is a remote controlled one. It is really great for temperature control. Um, over here is the system control unit, I would say, is what I would call it. It makes me feel like a flight attendant, just like pushing all the buttons and this and that. Um, what we have going on is my WeBoost, 
I worked remotely when I was living in this van, and so the WeBoost was really important for whenever I didn't have enough cell signal for uh, working. Um, I have a Webasto heater. Here's the control monitor. Water pump. Uh, this controls the water, obviously. This is the inverter, so that's so that I can use regular outlets. Uh, here's my battery monitor, and the ceiling lights are dimmable. My water system is a 20 gallon water tank. This feels like such a luxury compared to my first van. My first van had a teeny tiny five gallon freshwater tank that I had to manually dump. So I feel like a queen with this current system. I have 20 gallons fresh water, five gallon gray water tank that is automatically released whenever I pull this valve. Um, um, an amazing huge sink. Really cool too because this goes outside so it can also be used as a little shower situation. I'm not going to run it though because there's a pigeon and I don't want to alarm him. Another window over here. This is a magnetic cover that comes on and off super easily and can also be rolled up. Really good for insulation and for privacy. Underneath my bench seat is some more storage shoes, cookware, whatever you need. And then we wanted to keep everything in this build really lightweight. So I especially love this pullout pantry. You can see the wood is super thin um, and it fits a ton in here. Over here is my composting toilet. So I went with an Ogo and I'll tell you why. It has the biggest uh, pea storage tank out of any of the composting toilet systems. I really liked that, not needing to empty it out as much. My first fan had a cassette toilet. I hated it. So I went with a, I splurged on a composting toilet. Um, I, I really like it. Here, you know, is the system I cleaned it special for you guys. When you open it up, you can see we have the composting. This is all fresh new composting, don't worry. And then here is the pea storage as well. It fits a gallon and a half. Um, so yeah, this has been a very good upgrade. Over here, I have an upright fridge. My last fridge was actually a chest fridge. This is really nice. Um, I think there are pros and cons to both, but this one fits a lot. Usually I have more than just a can of Trader Joe's Dolma's in there. Um, but I'm kind of in between places right now. Underneath my sink um, is a ton more storage as well. So I have my trash can, cleaning supplies, broom, all of that. Um, and then I'll go over to my wardrobe, if you will. I really love this space. It fits so much. And the drawers slide out for easy access to everything more storage here for blankets and such. Another really cool thing is the adjustable lighting on this mirror. There are three different color temperatures. Really good for if you are obsessive about getting your eyeliner right like I am. Uh, or really bad depending on perspective. Underneath this is more storage. So pots, pans, things like that. And then again a ton more storage over here. This was fitting all of my workout clothes, pajamas, here we have some loose socks and a little scratcher <laughs> that I forgot about. <laughs> uh, and then just odds and ends over here. And here's another one of my favorite features. Um, and I know I've said that about pretty much everything, but I think that there is a lot of cool stuff in this van. So I'm going to brag about it. I have a senior dog. Um, so I wanted to have steps that would help her get on the bed. These were custom built to slide out um, as needed. You can also lock it in place so that they don't move. And then there is actually more storage underneath both panels as well. I'm gonna show you my bed. I am taking my shoes off though. It's extremely rude to take, to go on a bed with shoes on, even if it's your own bed, disrespectful. So this is a, um, Full size mattress, my builder cut it to get it to custom fit in the rounded corners, everything like that. Um, I really love this bed. Another great feature is over here. My friend painted this mural and more window space, sliding screen door. Um, this is 
held up with just magnets. It's a really cool system and I love being able to just very easily open and close for lighting, fresh air, whatever. Um, and above that is more storage space. So clothes were all here back when I was living in the van full time. Over on this side of the bed, I just wanted it to be completely open so that I could sit back easily, hang out. Um, and there's plenty of storage with the cab cabinets over here. Um, I wanted a fun pop of color type of wallpaper. So we went with this. There's also a little more storage over here. Um, that's where I used to keep my taser. <laughs> and then more lighting. Again, a really common theme that you can see is that my first van did not have a lot of windows and I went complete opposite direction with this build. So we have these sliding panels that open up to a skylight over here. For added ventilation, light, any sort of emergency situation, you can push these tabs, pull these this way, and then open this up, easy peasy. I really love having a skylight. It's so nice to be able to like actually just Feel like you're outside when you're inside and then having the sliding panels is great for someone like me who likes to sleep in until like 10 a.m 11 a.m uh back over here i really wanted finished back walls um and I, the van didn't come with windows and i felt like i already had so many windows throughout so i didn't want to install any more so my my builder um custom fit these in stained them the same color as the rest of the walls over here and um, you can see some of the thinsel it is not totally finished up quite yet. Um, here is some more USB charging area. Dimmable lights over here as well. Let's head around out back now. Okay. Let's take a look at the back. By the way, Patrick made my bed. That's why it looks so crisp and fresh. It, this is great. It never looks like this. So there is a ton of garage space back here. I have uh, my Starlink, various random things. Um, over here, you can open this and that's where the water fill is. Over here is the propane system. So it's a vented locker and a 15 pound tank back there. Really easy to turn on and off and then to replace as needed. So over here is the electrical system. It's really nice that it has this sliding door to separate things. I have a 2000 watt Renogy inverter, 200 amp hours of lithium battery. Here are all the fuses, little cheat sheet. So that's my van. Thank you so much for having me on, Patrick. Thank you also for making my bed. You did such a good job. Not a problem. Awesome to have you on the channel. I appreciate the opportunity to film your van. I like this layout. I like how the front area is nice mm -hmm. and open. You got the little L lounge, you got a split galley kitchen, and you got the big bed in the back. Mm -hmm. It's a very efficient flow. Now, you traveled full time. Mm -hmm. What's next? So I did three years on the road full time. I actually just moved to Brooklyn two months ago. I kind of felt ready to just try a new adventure. Um, I am going to be renting out this van, which has been sort of hard to accept because I love it so much, but I feel ready for other people to use it. I'm not ready to sell it yet. I want to be renting it out um, so I can keep it for weekend adventures. But Patrick is going to include the link to the listing and you don't wear your shoes on the bed. Definitely put that in the comments <laughs> that uh, your van is for rent. And that's cool that you're keeping it because like living in Brooklyn, it's nice to kind of get away from Oh, for sure. Yeah. You can take this out to the Hamptons. You go mm -hmm. up to the Catskills. Yeah. In a couple hours, you're out of here. But yeah. in the downtime, it's available for rent. Exactly. Awesome. This is Patrick of New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. See you next time.